What's up, CNP tribe? This is Johnny Ray Cornegay III, and I am listening to DDM's The Ballad of Omar. <laughs> Ballad of Omar, the go hard gunslinger, don't do fish again. I'm gold star, super fly. Hold me, my wingspan is gold dog. Before we get started, make sure that you like this video and that you subscribe here on YouTube. Follow the counter narrative on Twitter at Building Desire and on Instagram and Facebook at The Counter Narrative. So, there are four key elements to hip hop. Graffiti, breakdancing, DJing, and MCing or rapping. So DDM, aka Dapper Dan Midas, is an MC's MC. And for me, there are three things that an MC has to master to be considered stellar. Number one, cadence. A rapper has to understand their voice and how to use it to make the best use of the beat that they're rapping over. They have to understand when to punch and when to fall back. This is a really important skill. Number two is flow. Rappers have to have the ability to make wise and decisive choices on how to ride the beat or in some cases not. It can make or break the song. Of course, number three, uh, lyricism. Who is a rapper if they are unable to weave tales, rhyme smartly, and use wordplay to keep the listener's attention? The Ballad of Omar finds DDM balancing all three of these things. He is cleverly creating solid punchlines throughout the record. I came back spitting that coke for all the strippers. This time I'm giving out bucks like dirty clippers. Real issues, my body count too long. I killed your favorite rap again. Get some Lee Press on. It's the queen on deck. Excuse my manners. I get love from the DJ like Stephanie Tanner. Ain't no other way to put it. When I'm chopping this grammar, music ends is not worthy to pick up my hammer. So gay hip hop and gay rap rappers have a template. The Ballad of Omar breaks the rules of that established template, choosing to align itself more closely to classic hardcore boom bap. DDM's flow is at times reminiscent of like a Cool G rap or a Black Thought and even a Raekwon, and that's super re refreshing because for Black gay rappers to do a whole record like this, that is really rare. Along those same lines, my absolute favorite thing, and I think the thing that endears me so much to this record, is that it speaks directly to Black gay men who are often ignored. These are the brothers who may not neatly, neatly fit uh, into gay culture either by choice or because they aren't seen or in some cases are even feared. This album shines a light on those men whose narrative is often misunderstood. And I'm glad DDM has given us them and us something fresh and new to consider. So record closing is incredibly important. And for this record, DDM sends us out with this beautiful love song called The Ballad of Dante. With the same crew, Gucci belt fitted in the scar like a tattoo. Never look you in your eyes cause I heard you bad news. I'm just a Lord chubby over West rap dude. Street life tough, especially on that avenue. Girls out wondering why they not begging you. You get fresh, your mans wonder why you grabbing two, but you play dumb, knowing who really got a hold on you. Flashbacks, the Hennessy shots. Put simply, The Ballad of Omar is groundbreaking. It's a rap record that deserves to sit right next to modern hip hop classics that you already love, like Freddie Gibbs and Mad Lib's Bandana and Kendrick Lamar's Good Kid, Mad City. Follow DDM on Instagram at Dapper Dan Midas and buy merch on his website, dappadanmidas.com. Listen to The Ballad of Omar wherever you listen to music. Peace.